I flew into Bogota and then the next morning Brooklynite Gabby Flores embarked on a missionary trip that she says not only touched her heart but her spirit. The days just flew by. Days she calls precious spent in a community not many could even find on a map. A place called Nazareth, Colombia, an area hurt by war and the nation's illegal drug trade. But she and other missionaries brought a change of pace, not tragedy, but comedy. It's a seed for them to explore new, new ways of expression, new ways of sustaining themselves, um, new ways of thinking. Called the Colombian Dream Project, the mission trip seeks to bring different art forms to places that have never seen anything like it. The project targets the most abandoned and underserved populations. That's the vision of Jorge Geraldo Contreras, one of the founders who was inspired by Pope Francis's visit to Colombia last year, especially when the Holy Father called on everyone to reach out to the peripheries. From the point of view of the arts and our faith, we understand the need to awaken hearts and consciousness inspire lives so that future generations realize they have the power to bring about good to their own life and by doing so bring the best of themselves to their neighbors. Despite the country's ongoing troubles, both Gabby and Jorge hope this program allows young people to envision a creative way out of the often violent cycle they might get stuck in. Pictures that you see kids in blue, that is the Waju. Mm -hmm. Another mission trip is already scheduled for December. Not just to this community of Nazareth, but to all the ranches, like the farther, the better. Mm -hmm. We have to go and meet them where they are. Creating friendships and art along the way. Michelle Powers, Currents News.